The third round of the season takes place here at Navarra. Let's have a look at who's competing this weekend. Engine troubles for the number six Aston Martin of Andreas Zuba and Sergei Afanasyev mean they won't have had as much running as they would have liked this weekend. Maxime Martin is going to be joined by newcomer to GT1, Leo Machitsky. Quite excited to be back in an Aston. Love the car, love the pro drive. Uh, obviously had a big part to do with uh, putting Team Russia together as well. Fair bit of pressure to uh, not let uh, Maxime down. I hope that I can live up to my own expectations and also the expectations of the team. After winning round one in Nagaro, Stefano Telli and Lawrence Van Thor still lead the Drivers' Championship, but a difficult weekend in Zolda means they're going to have their work cut out if they want to retain it here. Frank Stippler is hoping that they have learnt their lessons from the difficult weekend communication-wise at Zolder. He partnering the 33 car with Oliver Jarvis. Well, we had some meetings. Uh, we're talking about um, these, these things happened in uh, Zolder. And uh, I hope that we are in a good mood here um, to, to strike back. The Vita for One racing team got their season back on track in Zolder with a win in the qualifying race for the 18 car of Michael Bartels and Yelma Berman. Their teammates Matthias Lauder and Nicky Mayer Mounhoff struggled a little bit, but Nicky is confident that the team has what it takes to get back towards the front of the field. This weekend we have some catching up to do, and um, for us it was typical weekends, the first and second, but now we are fighting for the podium again. I think we get more and more to understand the car, and the team is working great, and we are really fighting, and uh, I have good memories from last year, so I hope we can wrap it up and get some valuable points. Since taking pole in the opening qualifying session of the season, the AF Corsa squad have struggled a little bit with their Ferrari 458. But Philippe Salacuada reckons that this hot weekend in Navarra will be just what it needs to get the squad back on track. We should be quite fine in this condition. We hope it's not going to rain because uh, the Ferrari on the dry conditions like this it's, uh, should be an advantage for us a little bit. They also change uh, some BOP, some less weight for us, so it should help. Hopefully we should be strong in qualifying and our aim is to score on podium. Sunred Racing are continuing to get to grips with their Ford GT. Matteo Crisoni and Milos Pavlovic at the wheel once again this weekend. And as team manager Joe Anoris says, there's still plenty more pace to come from this Ford GT. We are here and uh, we are uh, improving uh, as much as possible our car at this moment and hope the second car will be ready for our Garve and then the uh, second car can enjoy with us uh, the overseas races. So I, I hope really in Algarve we can have uh, two cars on, uh, on the track. Fittingly for a circuit just outside of Pamplona, the raging bulls of Lamborghini have been unstoppable here in recent years. The past two FIA GT1 races have been won by a Lamborghini and this gives Peter Cox a great deal of confidence. I think the Lamborghini is going to be very strong. Already in the first year we were with the GT1 car, the Murcielago, the old style GT1 cars, the cars were competitive. And I think also the Gallardo we saw from last year's in Blancpain series. The car should be competitive and uh, the weather forecast is quite good, so it should be okay. We look forward to it. Hexes are continuing to make progress with their McLaren MP4 12Cs, finishing first and second in Friday morning's practice session here in Navarra. And like the AF Corsa squad, Alvaro Parente is looking for a dry weekend to really get the maximum out of the car. I'm really looking forward for this weekend. Uh, hopefully we'll have a, a dry weekend all the time. Just for us to see how the car and the setup and the work we've been doing on the car is going to be useful to us on the track and uh, see how our pace is and how competitive we are. The Alinkle.com Munich Motorsports Mercedes Benzes were unlucky to a degree in Zolda. Mark Basseng and Marcus Winkelhock were leading the qualifying race when their throttle broke with only a few minutes to go. But the sister car of Nicky Pastorelli and Thomas Jaeger performed strongly and they come into this weekend third place in the championship. Thomas Jaeger is looking for that form to continue this weekend. Well, this weekend we hope to score points as the last weekends. I think that's the key for the championship. And uh, yeah, we're well prepared, so hopefully everything works this weekend. There's no Ren Wei this weekend in the ex Bank Team China Porsche, his seat being taken by Dino Lunardi, the reigning ADAC GT Masters champion. And in the sister car, Mike Parisi is excited for this weekend, having won the last race. It was a great weekend in Zolder because it was our first victory for Team China, ex Bank Team China, for Porsche, for the Mulner team, for us drivers. So it was a very good experience. I think we can be very fast on several parts and we hope for sure to repeat again here in Spain this weekend.